WBUK 08 Chicago 20 welcomes you to the start of its broadcast day. Coming up tonight at 7 p.m., Krampus and Friends welcomes you to his live stream variety hour. From 8 p.m. to midnight, please join us in existential crisis as we stare into the void and learn to grasp the true meaning of nothingness. At midnight, Krampus takes us on a journey of culinary delight with his cooking show. Then, at 1 a.m., Krampus's good friend Switch shows us how to make all of our BDSM fantasies come true with some medieval leather working techniques. K08 Chicago 20 welcomes you to the start of its broadcast day. Coming up tonight at 7 p.m., Krampus and Friends welcomes you to his live stream variety hour. From 8 p.m. to midnight, please join us in existential crisis as we stare into the void and learn to grasp the true meaning of nothingness. 
At midnight, Krampus takes us on a journey of culinary delight with his cooking show. Then, at 1 a.m., Krampus' good friend Switch shows us how to make all of our BDS and fantasies come true with some medieval leatherworking techniques. K08 Chicago 20 welcomes you to the start of its broadcast day. Coming up tonight at 7 p.m., Krampus and Friends welcomes you to his live stream variety hour. From 8 p.m. to midnight, please join us in existential crisis as we stare into the void and learn to grasp the true meaning of nothingness. At midnight, Krampus takes us on a journey of culinary delight with his cooking show. Then, at 1 a.m., Krampus' good friend Switch shows us how to make all of our BDS and fantasies come true with some medieval leatherworking techniques.
KOHChicago20 welcomes you to the start of its broadcast day. Coming up tonight at 7 p.m., Krampus and Friends welcomes you to his live stream variety hour. From 8 p.m. to midnight, please join us in existential crisis as we stare into the void and learn to grasp the true meaning of nothingness. At midnight, Krampus takes us on a journey of culinary delight with his cooking show. Then, at 1 a.m., Krampus's good friend Switch shows us how to make all of our BDS and fantasies come true with some medieval leatherworking techniques. Chicago 20 welcomes you to the start of its broadcast day. Coming up tonight at 7 p.m., Krampus and Friends welcomes you to his live stream variety hour. From 8 p.m. to midnight, please join us in existential crisis as we stare into the void and learn to grasp the true meaning of nothingness. 
At midnight, Krampus takes us on a journey of culinary delight with his cooking show. Then, at 1 a.m., Krampus' good friend Switch shows us how to make all of our BDS and fantasies come true with some medieval leatherworking techniques. K08 Chicago 20 welcomes you to the start of its broadcast day. Coming up tonight at 7 p.m., Krampus and Friends welcomes you to his live stream variety hour. From 8 p.m. to midnight, please join us in existential crisis as we stare into the void and learn to grasp the true meaning of nothingness. At midnight, Krampus takes us on a journey of culinary delight with his cooking show. Then, at 1 a.m., Krampus' good friend Switch shows us how to make all of our BDS and fantasies come true with some medieval leatherworking techniques.
strong Krampus. It's Krampus here. What's up? It's kind of a different year, right? Wouldn't you say? I mean, I can't even eat naughty children because I can't go anywhere except for like a takeout, but it's real tricky ordering naughty children on the takeout menu if you get my drift. Anyway, side point. So I just wanted to say welcome. Thank you. So what's in store for you is be prepared. I would say like, you know, maybe sit down, get a blanket, get some popcorn, get, you know, get your Coke or your uh, you know, something to wash down the popcorn. Oh, uh, there's so many cool things that are just about to happen that I can't even remember them all. But there's a lot of really cool artists involved, musicians, there's a puppet show, there's cooking tips, and there's going to be a raffle prize drawing at the very end going towards Community Canteen, which is based in Bridgeport, and they are doing really cool work because they're basically helping feed people that are hungry at an affordable cost. So, Krampus, like, nobody else understands hunger. I mean, can't get your, your children to eat? You know, it ain't so good. So, I'm just gonna be real straight up. Uh, so, this raffle fundraiser event is very important. There's raffle prizes that I'm gonna be introducing through the whole event and on Instagram and all and you know, Facebook and the social thing. Uh, but there's tons of way cool prizes. So enjoy the show. If I come up with any jokes, I'll uh, share them. Uh, thank you. Love you. Uh-huh. Hey, it's Andy Slater. Oh, hey Andy, what's up? I've got some news that you're not gonna want to hear. Yeah, um... Krampus is at a party across the street from me over at Nuki Nono's. Oh, you're kidding me. He's been passing around joints, and it looks like he's been passing around a bottle of Chivas. And he's loud, I know it's him, and uh, he's dancing. There's like 40, 50 people, none of them got masks on, nothing. Ah, uh, what the shit, Krampus? I have a heart condition. And guess who he showed up with? Oh, no. Yes. His boo thing, St. Nicky. And they've been all over each other. Last time I talked to him, he said that he and Krampus were done. Last time I talked to Krampus, he said he and Nikki are done. So, I don't know. I just want to let you know. I worry about both of them. And uh, I just want to reach out to Krampus' support system. Make sure that everything's cool. If you want me to go and do anything, I can hop over there or yell or something. No, 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 no. You know how he gets the both of them. Yeah. They're not going to turn away from anything. If they're not going to listen to their friends, they're not going to listen to anybody. Thanks, Andy. Me and him don't have words. Okay, well, happy holidays. You too. Be safe. You stay safe, too. Love ya. Bye.
Hi, this is Santa. Um, I'm off duty at the moment. I'm not wearing my beard or the getup. I'm not wearing the hat. I'm not wearing the belt, which is key. Uh, the key, the belt is very important. Uh, I'm not wearing um, my uh, necklace of bangles, which most people don't pay attention to, but every good Santa has a necklace of bang bangles. Mine does a lot of jingly jangling. Uh, when my wife was a little girl, she went with friends to uh, the mall or somewhere to visit Santa, and my wife uh, finally got to sit in Santa's lap. And remember, she's a little girl, and uh, she he said, "What would you like for uh, Christmas, little girl?" And she said, "I'm Jewish." And Santa said, <clears throat> "Me too, kid." Which is funny, because both the girl and Santa were Jewish in this story. Take off your pants, it's Christmas! It's Christmas without pants! Nobody wears pants on Christmas because it's a tradition. Whoa, sun's right in my eyes. Ah! Christmas season 2020. Now normally Krampus would be here at the Demon Tap in Avondale, Chicago, Illinois doing his Krampus pop-up. His famous Krampus pop-up. 
But you can't do that this year. You can't do it this year because, well, there's lots of reasons you may or may not know. A lot of them, well, it could have been different, but there's a lot of naughty people out there. You got to remember, Krampus sees everything out there. A lot of people are naughty different this year. They're naughty by not wearing masks. I see and hear a lot of people complaining. I'm not going to wear a mask. But I see these same people having sex with their socks on. <laughs> you can have sex with your socks on, but you won't wear a mask? Naughty, naughty. So we won't be having a Krampus pop up. We're going to have some fun as Krampus tonight at the Krampus Variety Show. I'm going to do some QA. I'm going to do some on the street interviews. And hopefully we can have a good time. So cheers to you and your family. Let's have a naughty night here. Hey guys, what's up James? Hey Switch, hi Bells, so good to see you all. Hey Switch, thanks for dinner last night, so delish. Hey Krampus, um, have you been hanging out with Nick again? What? No, 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 I, no, gross, Ugh. Ugh. that piece of pink. Fluffy, fat ball, Nick. Uh-uh. Can't even throw a kind whisker my way. Really, eh? Then why have you been all over Nick's Insta stories then, hmm? Crap. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've, I've just been so lonely lately. And then I've been dreaming about Nick's eyes. You know, Nick. Nick and I have a history. Oh, uh, Nick. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, what the hell, Krampus? Do you know how many super spreader events he's been to? Here's a May of him at the Red Hat Rally. Ugh, his TikTok is on him talking about how protection is bad for you. Krampus? You're right. You're right. Uh, I promise. Never again. Uh, so... What are we in line for? Voting. Wait, I thought this was testing. Uh, uh this is the tamale line? Uh, I'd like six cheese. Uh, six chicken and six pork, please. No, no, twelve pork. Hey, it's Krampus. It's Krampus here to tell you about this fundraiser going on. So, raising money for Community Canteen. They are in Bridgeport. 
running out of Kimski, which is a restaurant and bar connected to Maria's. Been doing some really cool work to help feed people at an affordable cost to make sure that you know people can be okay during this time. So the good thing is that you can help. You can buy a ticket, 10 bucks, pop, you know, buy two, you can buy 10, you know, whatever you feel like tonight. You you don't have to either. It's no pressure. I'm, it might might remember that, but just, just no pressure. Ten bucks a ticket. The information on how to buy these tickets is on the Krampus Knocked website. That's www.krampusknockedchicago.com. So all the information's there. You can do Venmo or PayPal. It's all all listed and there's so many cool prizes that i can't even tell you about them right now because i will talk for so long and we want to get back to this awesome show stay tuned
Strong combos, so we're really getting to this show. Hope you're enjoying it. Just want to let you know that there's a fundraiser going on. There are tickets still available for the raffle prizes, including two Krampus Knock t shirts, beer from Mars Brewery, bag of Weird Time from Warp Farms, all amazing vegetables. The sorting table is donating bottles of wine. Easy does it. Ah, cool new wine shop, Logan Square, donating beer from Mars Brewery. Thank you again, Mars, and easy does it. D-Man is donating a gift certificate. Illuminated Brewworks donating beer a lot. So, oh my god. Ah, EC Brown paintings, beautiful, that are Krampus-inspired. Leatherby Distillery is donating a spirit. And Cream is also donating... Wine from Krampus regions? Excuse me, that's awesome. Anyway, there's also some vintage Krampus Knox posters by Chris Hefner. And all of these prizes are going towards this fundraiser. So these tickets are 10 bucks each. You can look at the website, it tells you how to pay. And then the winners will be announced. Alright, I promised you some jokes. Here's one joke for you. Why does Krampus spend so much time on Tinder? 
Me so horny. Me so horny. Get it? It's, it's pretty good. Ha! Servina Wiesthurst here with the guide to perfectly cooked sausage. Everybody, and I mean everybody, likes a crispy outside and a juicy inside for a sausage. Here is my guide to make these delectable encased meats. Step 1. The braise. Braise the sausages in a pan right over the flames. Use stock or even better, beer. This will start the cooking process from inside the sausage. I like to add chopped onions into the liquid. The goal is to partially cook the sausage before we put it on direct heat. Step 2. The heat. Since the sausages are partially cooked, we can now place them on the grill. With the braise process, we shall not fear a burst sausage or a raw middle. We love a good char in this town, and now is the time to achieve it, chaps. Carefully monitor these beauties and achieve the desired level of caramelization. Step 3. The feast. Remove the sausages and begin your feast any way you would like. I prefer a nice potato roll and lots of spicy mustard. Thank you, and we shall meet again, my friends. Next! Ah, a new scene, Nick, again would be a bad idea. Oh man, now I'm gonna get sick. Stupid me. Ah, I'm so worried. I just feel like Nick is, you know, he's Nick and ah, whatever he had, it might be running through my body and now I'm infected and I won't even be able to see my friends because Chains has asthma. He, can, he can't even run up a hill without breathing all crazy. And Switch has a heart condition. He's got a good heart, but well, he's got a heart condition so, you know, it cancels it out. Oh, who's texting me? <gasps> Maybe these are my results. Ah! Um, it's just my doctor warning me about my cholesterol again. Numbers keep going up. I know I have high cholesterol. I eat naughty, fat children. That diet definitely will give you high cholesterol. Come on. You know, maybe I should eat more vegetables, like spinach, carrots. <gasps> you know, I do kind of like carrots. They have such a nice snappy crunch to them. Mmm, carrots. Ah, uh, God, I'm so nervous. Oh, and you know, I've been having those weird itchy red bumps, you know, way down there can't even talk about my feet. My toes look a mess. When I walk past children these days, I can't even smell them. It's like they don't even exist right in front of my eyes. Can't smell them. It's so weird. Who's texting me? Nick! Ah! Bo! 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 So wait, Jesus, I don't need to be reminded of your weird, delicious, sweaty, pink junk. Oh, come on. Oh, I need a nap. Like now, pronto, quicker than a milkshake shakes. I can't deal with this right now. I'm going to bed. That's my safe zone.
bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one horse open sleigh. I know what Santa looks like naked. Once upon a time, on the top of uh, the North Pole, there was a Yeti, and his name was Eddie Spaghetti. Eddie Spaghetti Yeti um, was Tired of COVID, disinterested in social distancing because Yetis are very social creatures. Uh, so he put out a personal ad that says, uh, large furry creature, interested in fun conversation, will social distance, already wearing mask. I've got some bells, you got some bells, we had some bells, I dropped the bells, ding ding and dong, ding ding and dong, ding ding and dong, where did they go? Oh, I just kicked all of those bells, under the couch is hard to reach, I am trying to reach those bells, I are under the couch and I'm trying to get them right now, ding a ding dong, ding 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 dong, ding dong and dong. Oh, what have we here, beautiful young lady. She looks like she doesn't have a naughty bone in her body. You got a naughty bone in your body? No, I've been very good this year. Have you been good this year? Yes, I promise. Have you? I have. Let Travis figure this one out. Lies! You lie! I have it on a good, a good fact that you pinch little bit of weed out of your roommate's bags. A little weed here, a little weed there, and it all comes into one big pinchy pinch weed bag. Is this true? How did you know that? Krampus knows all things naughty! Stop pinching, young lady! Okay, I'm gonna stop, stop.
Oh, hey guys. So you want to learn how to play the air guitar? Well, you, my friends, have come to the right place. I know a thing or two about playing air guitar. I won the world title back in the day. And then this is the part they'll play the clip. It's pretty rad, huh? Well, here's the thing. You can look rad, too. All right, first things first, you got to grab an air guitar. You see, the beautiful thing about air guitar is everyone has one. You're born with it. So everybody, anywhere, at any given time, has the ability to pick up an air guitar and rock out. Now you must know that an air guitar is actually heavier than a their guitar. So when you put it on, it's got weight. See? It's heavy. Now this, this is your pick hand, if you're right-handed. You'll pick with your right hand. If you're left-handed, you pick with your left hand. Back to right-handed, because I'm right-handed. We'll pick with the right hand on this hand, and your left hand will be used for the fretboard. This is where you'll play the notes of the air guitar. The first move I'll teach you is called the pick slide. The next move I'll teach you, the windmill. You guys ready for one of my personal favorites? I call this move the chug. You guys are doing really great, but there's something you should know. Air guitar actually serves a higher purpose other than just rocking out and acting like an idiot. It's a tool that can break down language barriers because air guitar is a language that is understood by all. It doesn't matter where you come from, what your country's political beliefs are, what religions they may practice, whether you're a man or a woman, gay or straight or short or tall, none of that matters. Air guitar has the ability to unite us all. So when you're playing the air guitar and you're rocking out, open up your mind and your heart to these good vibes that only air guitar can deliver. This, my friends, is called airness. All right, guys, you ready to take it up a notch? Let me teach you how to do some advanced moves. For the first advanced move, I'd like to teach you the finger tap. Now I'm going to teach you how to use the whammy bar. got some great momentum going right now, but I think we can take it up even another notch. I'd like to work on something right now I like to call the all-out shred. You guys are well on your way to becoming real air guitarists. But in order to become a full-fledged airhead, you must further open up your minds to the power of the air guitar. According to the ideology of air guitar, all wars would end, climate change would stop, and all bad things would disappear if people just picked up their air guitar and played. Believe in the power of the air guitar, and under no circumstances should you ever underestimate its power. All right, guys, now that you've got the basic steps down and the advanced steps down, Let's work on something that will enhance your performance a little bit more. Let's start by sprinkling in a little sex. The tongue flip. Let's add a little bit of crazy. The crazy eyes. Let's top it off with a little bit of whiplash. Head banging. 
Okay, guys and gals, I've taught you a lot so far. So let's take all that knowledge and combine it into one performance. Go. That was awesome. But you want to know something? It's one thing to play air guitar in your basement when you're all by yourself, but it's another to take it to the stage in front of an audience. Tune in next week when I teach you how to become a world air guitar champion. Until then. Oh, I'm so worried about my status. Really wish this stupid plague wasn't happening. I could really go for a sweet juicy baby to help me relax right now. Finally, I'm going to sleep.
think Satan. Oh, think Satan. It was only a dream. All right, so Goose Ron Krampus, we're getting towards the end of the program. Just want to give you a little update that tickets are still available for sale for the raffle prizes to make monies for a community canteen down in Bridgeport. Thank you for listening, watching, observing, enjoying, hopefully. Like I said, there's all these raffle prizes. Got Krampus Knock t shirts. You got beer from Mars Brewery. We got a bag of awesome veggies from Weird Time. The sorting table donating bottles of wine. Easy Does It is a wine and beer shop in Logan Square donating also some Mars beer. Demon Restaurant and Bar on Belmont Avenue, close to California, who are also operating this really cool Kindle market through the month of December. And they have veggie options and non veggie. They're donating a gift certificate. Illuminated Brew Works, donating a lot of beer, thank you. You see brown paintings that are Krampus-inspired. Leatherby Distillery, also donating. And then Cream, oh my gosh, thank you. You're donating some wine, too, that are... Hmm. Uh, there's also some vintage Krampus Knock posters by artist Chris Hefner. And then the other... So those, those tickets are 10 bucks each. exhausting whoa what terrible dreams I mean I know I deserve them I knew I should have stayed clear dirty old Saint Nick he's always hanging around those filthy kids those fat filthy kids coughing <coughs> and sneezing achoo, 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 over everything and I mean everything and you know I really hate the sick ones they always taste like rotten soup or a stinky mess of sour beans. Ugh, yuck. Blech. God. Go away, Nick. Ah, oh, oh, these are my results. 
Hi Krampus, this is Janine with your health results from Testy Testers Health Services. You have tested negative, <gasps> negative, negative. Woo, it's a negative day, everybody. Never been so positive about a negative <laughs> result. Woo, yeah. Oh, thank Lucifer. Thank you, Lucifer. I have to tell my pals. No, no, no. It's okay. Really, really. I just got my test results back. And I'm negative. Thank Lucifer. Yeah, right? Negative. <laughs> it's like the best day ever. I promise. I really promise this time never to get involved with Nick. Ever, 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 ever again. Good. Because that guy is a chump. Oh, you said it. Now who wants to go and walk over and get carry out from Demon? Ooh, yeah. They've got this Kindle market set up. They got donor kebabs. Yeah. You can get veggie options. They got the whole bit. And, you know, I've been in a veggie kick, too. <laughs> you can get veggies from wear time. Ooh. They're so delish. We could wash it all down with a crambiscus beer from Mars Brewery. Ooh, I'll have one of those. Or Illuminated Brewery makes a fine beer as well. And if you don't drink, Mars has got these CBD elixirs, too. Keeps you real chill. Get my vibe. Oh, you know I do. Oh, so glad you can't get it from cooked food or beer or ice cream or kebabs. Nope, just filthy toy makers. It's time to dance a jig. I'm gonna play you a song.
Usan Krampus friends, I just want to say thank you for being a part of this. Thank you to all the artists and musicians and thank you Sean DeSantis, thank you Chris Puente for helping with all the technical and writing and everything. You know, I just want to say it's been a tough year. I mean, I, I haven't been able to eat, you know, not eat children except for a couple. And you know, I've definitely learned my lesson about living in this time and what to do because it's important because you know we got to make it to next year as best we can anyway i just want to say thank you and you know what next year's gonna be right it's gonna be so h-o-t hot ah, god and i'm not trust me i will not get back with nick I promise love you thank you and be safe <laughs>